we've been told to expect the visual, and we've accepted that. Um, visibility's good, but layers according to the one-minute weather, and sure enough, that's what we're seeing here. Um, November 972, Niner Uniform. So, obviously, the visual, we have to have uh, basic VMC, three miles, clear clouds, and uh, we need also to uh, uh, have uh, the airport site, so we're unable to uh, ask for or request a visual. Uh, now, uh, Murray is uncontrolled, or I should say non-towered. It's a proper term, and this means that uh, we're going to hear something like... Uh, Radar services terminated, changed to advisory frequency. Are you familiar with cancellation procedures? I have a phone number if you need it, blah, blah. Cancel with me in the air on the ground on this number. So um, one thing just in, for planning to be aware of is that all of this uh, kind of happens quickly, and it happens when you have uh, other stuff to do. So. Uh, November be, 9 or 7, 2, 9, uniform climate maintain. Uh, be four. thinking about oh. that in advance so you don't get uh, uh, get trapped. 7,500, we're down to 3,000. We should be able to get the airport. I'm going to push control wheel steer. I'll just show you how this works. I can zoom around this cloud uh, by just pressing and hold control wheel steer. This takes us off the autopilot momentarily, but as soon as we're around this cloud, um, if, in fact, you wanted to go around it, it would be safe to go through there. But it probably wouldn't be comfortable. So we'll just pull around, oops, around this way, like so, and then let go, and uh, Garmin will put us right back on the plan. Now, uh, so we're, uh, we're going to be going at uh, back on course. At uh, about 600 feet a minute. Now let's see, let's go back to nav, alt vs, and bring that back to something reasonable here. There we go. That'll settle right down. So, uh, with control wheel steer, you can uh, navigate around the clouds. If it's important to you. Right now we're plus six, so ice, uh, while we're still technically in icy conditions we're uh, we're not suffering from that so we're, we're good to go down at 700 feet per minute care 188 take your airfield approximately one o'clock and uh, we need miles. 500 so we'll set it at five now care 188 roger radar service terminated squad with our change advisor approved well, so that's control that wheel steer, time. CWS. It's also a useful tool for missed approaches in conjunction with the autopilot. And even for takeoff, if uh, if you have an immediate turn. November 121 Lima Whiskey, VFR traffic at 12 o'clock. Dick Rochford. Mile maneuvering at 2,000 feet. Altitude is unverified. Fly safe. Type is unknown. Train off. Alright, so we're about 25 miles from Murray. And... Uh, 6,000 descending 3. We've been asked to report the field at sight, which point, I uh, believe, unless we ask otherwise, will be cleared for the visual. Uh, I've already taken the uh, time to check the approaches. Uh, there is an approach for runway 5 in RNAV, so what I recommend we do here is go ahead and load, since we're going to get the, the visual, and we want it, We'll load hey, vectors uh, to final, to the and then when we're ready, we'll, we'll activate them. But for now, we'll be able to see on the map a white line drawn out uh, from runway 5. That'll give us uh, a very accurate uh, picture. Uh, X-ray Alpha Uniform Juliet see, India, Memphis Center, Russia. I'm not going to cross-fill that. I put it in the wrong box. Let's cross four four five. November 903, Mike Tango changed my frequency okay, so one three three point six five. And uh, now we're just three basically looking for the airport. 30, 30, we're 60, done with the lowest layer here at uh, 5,300. So I might give him a quick base report so he can help other pilots. But it's uh, it's it's basically going to be VFR. So the question. Traffic helicopter four five zero Mike Tango. Five to the west, 1,500, inbound for landing. That's for tune, John Tune. Um, so, 
um, our challenge now is to put ourselves on a left base or in the pattern down there at um, at Murray without interfering. And so what I've asked the, the vertical system to do is give us um, uh, 1,500 feet above the field elevation five miles away. And, and that'll give us a chance to pick it up visually and to cancel. Today we'll go ahead and cancel. But if, if we did, we'd have that number from the ATC. Uh, you can also uh, use, there's an, uh, a toll-free number you can call. Uh, but it'd be important as soon as you clear the active runway, or clear of all runways, to uh, call them and cancel so that somebody else can get in behind you without delay. So the plan is to uh, make a base turn. So we're going to go to about three miles from the airport, get it sight, make a right turn, and uh, make a 90-degree intercept to that uh, final approach course, looking for the runway. Once it's in sight, we'll turn inbound. Of course, we'll announce our position. And we won't cut anybody off on the downwind. I promise. This is Dick Rochford. Have a nice day. Fly safely. Train off. All right, so we have somebody in the pattern at Murray uh, doing multiple uh, touch and goes or landings or something. Um, so we'll be advised. Be careful there. We're 10 miles from the field. I don't have it in sight yet, um, but I, I know we're going the right way, so I'm not worried. Um, I just canceled IFR, and I know some of you are reluctant to do that, even when it's good VMC, but um, the, the reason is is that he can't help us find the runway, and the best way to approach a non-towered airport is to be talking to the advisory frequency. And not worried about whether or not uh, you're going to, you know, be tying somebody up, or worse yet, um, you know, forgetting when you get on the ground and, and mucking it up that way. Uh, if if it's iffy, if you know, if it's close, don't do it. Don't cancel. Uh, you may know that uncontrolled airspace inside the magenta feather, which exists wherever on a VFR chart, whenever there's an approach, or nearly so, uh, uh, requires that. Uh, controlled airspace goes down to 700 feet. This means that if you're at 800 feet on final approach and you cancel and it's two miles in haze, uh, you have violated the federal regulation. And there's a reason for it. That's an important rule. And I, I encourage you to study it, understand it, and, and not do things just because it seems like the right thing to do, but to think it through and uh, keep the flight safe for you and for everyone else in, in the uh, airport area. Uh, Non-towered airports uh, or airport areas are indeed, uh, you know, more uh, likely to produce an, a mid-air collision than just about any place else. So it's uh, it's time to fly like a pro and do it uh, do it correctly. Well, let's see. We're five miles out, and uh, believe I have the field in sight. So uh, I'm going to start making my calls here. Uh, I'm first going to call Cardinal Direction. At Murray Traffic, it's uh, Malibu 4190 Whiskey, 5 to the west, and uh, we'll yield to the pattern. Uh, we'll plan for a left base, runway 5, uh, Murray. See if that produces any vitriol on the radio. Uh, uh, a lot of people want you on the 45. And are down well, well, we'll see how it goes. Dick Rochford, fly safely. The train off it. And Murray Traffic, uh Final runway five, Murray. And traffic, Malibu 4190 Whiskey is uh, wide left base, runway five, and uh, we're now base, uh, correction, uh, downwind to base, uh, Murray. All right, so. Uh, Uh, about a five-mile base here. I, I kind of brought it out because this woman kept talking, and I, uh, she didn't say how far she was. She just kept calling the pattern, and I don't know where she is. I don't see her. So I'm five miles from the runway, um, a little further than I ordinarily would be, actually 4.2, but um, and now I've teed up with, because um, I got too far away. I lost the runway. 
but here's here's the picture. So. Okay, so there's the picture. I'm teed up. So when I get over to the the runway alignment using the RNAV straight in the, the vectors, I haven't even uh, put a, uh, you know, I haven't even uh, armed it up, but uh, I guess I could, uh, you know, activate right, the approach. Oh. Driving me crazy. So let's go approach and altitude, see what happens. That should work for us. It's an RNAV. Okay, field's in sight, autopilot off. And yeah, Murray, the uh, Malibu is uh, three mile final, uh, runway uh, five, Murray. So, begin to descent, go down, gear down, nacho flaps, and uh, we'll just point down. Now, this is where I'm gonna get a little flow done. This is where uh, folks uh, tend to get it wrong. They, they, they kind of go straight to the threshold from where I am now. I'm obviously, I'm obviously left to center now. Now I'm over the center line. The reason I know this is and because County traffic, uh, two two uh, Sierra Golf is the near end is lined up with the far end. Left downwind, and so that's the picture I'm going to hold. And I'm going to use whatever rudder pressure I need with level wings to keep that picture. I'm in the white arc, so I'm adding full flaps. Uh, Murray, uh, Malibu is uh, short, final, runway five, Murray. So, I want to do as little banking as possible. Three green, the runway appears clear. Recommend we continue. There's 100 knots. And uh, we're going to leave mixture and prop alone and just operate with power to hold, uh, to manage airspeed. So we want to cross the numbers at 90 knots or so. There's 95, and I'm bringing the power back pretty aggressively. There's idle throttle. Now, I'm not going to dive for the runway. I'm just going to hold the crab until I feel a need to kick it out, which is right now. So I kick it out. Lower the tire here. Oops, I overdid it. Right there. Oops, there we go. A uh, little left of center. But I'll work it back. And then with the turbine, you're going to get beta back pressure and brakes, all three. In this case, we just have two things to get. And it's definitely back pressure with brakes. And that big ass tail back there will slow you down aerodynamically. It also serves as a spoiler to keep weight on the mains so that the brakes are more efficient. And looky there. DC-3, very nice. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I see a marshal. So I'm going to accept his direction. And Murray Malibu's clear of all runways, Murray. <laughs>